So I decided to do this one a little different. So throughout this video, um, you could say it's just going to be like a voiceover per se. Um, and I'm just going to put pictures of the court case throughout the video. Um, not necessarily saying it will line up to what I'm saying. It's just pictures throughout the court cases. Um, so we're working on day two. No, girl, what did you talking about? We're working on day 22 of Johnny Dill and Amber Heard. Um, so the judge was real adamant on day 22 about hearsay. Um, any uh, quotes or any scenes or any person-to-person -person conversation outside of the uh, courthouse is hearsay. And you can see that on um, Amber Heard's side, they was kind of getting frustrated because they was limited per time. Um, throughout this time, um, if I'm not mistaken, Amber Heard team only have like, they started with a little under three hours and they ended with a little a little under well a little over an hour left um an hour and 30 some seconds left um for tomorrow and friday well probably just tomorrow um and then jenny Depp they started with like 13 hours i believe if i'm not mistaken and they only have um uh seven or ten hours left and um so yeah we'll see how that goes tomorrow um like i said they did go ahead and put johnny Depp back on the uh back on the stand um everyone was saying that they thought that amber heard so i was gonna put him on the stand but what you have to understand they didn't put johnny heard back on the stand i mean johnny heard they put they didn't put johnny Depp back on the stand because they didn't have the alluded amount of time. Now that's not saying that um that's not saying that um they didn't get up and cross examine him, they did. And you know how slow uh Johnny Delby talked um at the beginning of his case. Um they was trying to force him to answer questions that he couldn't normally answer with the yes or no. Um they was trying to speed up his talking um, just so they can get theirs in, um, and you can tell throughout the case that Elaine, which is Amber Heard's, uh, Amber Heard's lawyer, you can tell that she was real frustrated. Now, would I say that they came prepared? Um, no, because I feel like they was asking the questions that they asked on day 15, 16 about, um, about uh the whole glass and, and and the whole bottles and all that stuff so um will i say that they was prepared no they wasn't um but i so will say that they was trying to rush it because i feel like um day 10 through 16 i feel like they was asking redundant questions I feel like they wasted most of their time because they wasn't prepared. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you want to go back and look at that case, especially the case with uh, Amber Heard, because um, especially when Johnny Delt was on the stand, Amber Heard, she smirked, she played with her lawyer. She did all kind of things. Now, I will make sure I'm going to add in like different pictures that I feel like was the highlight pictures of the case on day 22 and you will see that she was uh that she was smirking and that she was joking with her lawyer more than she usually would um she was passing notes like we were still in high school um so yeah just just be just be on the lookout for pictures like that um another thing i do want to bring up i'm not sure of his name right now but they did talk about um the things, of, I'm, I'm not sure was this today or yesterday. I might have my days mixed up. But he did talk about what he felt like or what he knew from facts of um, the whole contractual 
or greetings and all of that stuff. Um, because it was a lady that came in and she said, um, uh, Jason Balboa was his price went up to 15 million, and Amber Heard could have raised hers to 4 million, or she could have doubled it or tripled it because she did get, I think, a million for the first uh, Aquaman. Um, but he was basically saying that they come in with the numbers, and the only thing that the actors have to do is say, hey, would this work or would it not work? Um, so yeah, so that's basically, he's just basically a scout. And he scouts out, well, if they want this, then I'm going to have to go make sure that both parties agree to the contract before moving on. Um, so that kind of helps Johnny a little bit, um, because, um, the lady that came in basically said that, um, she basically said that the things that was going on is that, uh, she mentioned a whole lot of actresses and she said basically that Amber Heard could be getting more than 4000 or she was like up in the same criteria as them people <coughs> excuse me and she really wasn't and um cause you know Aquaman is the the main movie as we remember her in so um but of course you don't remember her over Jason Balboa or um any other characters or her as his wife or girlfriend whatever so this was her breakout movie and this is what we know her as but they was trying to compare her to Jason Balboa now Jason Balboa he came to uh, Aquaman he had a few years of acting under his belt to where he can get probably um seven million to thirteen million even fifteen million uh, for his acting in Aquaman. Now, um, that if, if that's the case, then you can't say that Jason Balboa and Amber Heard is on the same the same level of acting. You just can't do it, and I'm not gonna let them do it. I mean, cause Amber, she's she's okay, but come on, be honest with yourself. Have you ever like? sit back and remember some things she was in and I'm not talking about independent videos or movies I'm talking about on a with a team like with a like Warner Brothers or um things like that nature um but they did bring up the fact that she was in um Magic Mike honestly I went back I still don't know which one she is <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's that. Um, another thing I would like to say is they did bring up Moss, and she did say that um, he didn't push her down the stairs. She fell down the stairs. Um, and she did tell people what happened. Um, she hurt her back. Johnny came back to pick her up. Um, and take her back to the room and took care of her and all that stuff. She was, and that spoke more on his character than anything. Um, and when Johnny Depp told Amber Heard that story, she took it, ran with it, flipped it, so it could fit into her imagination of what allegedly happened to her. Um, but that's just not the case here. Um, and if you go back a couple of videos, they did bring up the idea of. Amber Heard marking on um, the story of when Rihanna and Chris Brown got into it and when Rihanna said that she didn't know this person when he was angry and hitting her that's the exact story that Amber Heard told in court now is Rihanna going to speak about it I don't know um, but it is like uh, news articles and things out about her um, I'm not sure if she spoke up about it. I'm not sure she will, but they did just bring it to attention. It's other stories that I noticed that Amber Heard have told, and if you go back to like other people, like body languages and all of that, you'll see 
that Amber Heard is like flipping it. So yeah, that's where we at with that. Um, like I said, I will be putting in like videos and all that stuff. Well, not videos, girl. I'll be putting in pictures and all that stuff. I do want to go ahead and depict one of those, uh, one of those text messages they were trying to use against him. And they did bring up the idea that Jenna her was trying to get her off of the case of um, Aquaman too. So we did speak about that. So I'm gonna link, um, I'm gonna link uh, the case twenty day twenty two below. I'm also gonna link um, where I got the pictures from. So yeah, because I do want you guys to go just read on that and then. Um, tomorrow I just come in and feed you guys in where we can link day 22 and 23 together so yeah thank you guys for watching um, I, I decided not to be so deep into this case to do it day by day but since we almost at the end I'm like okay maybe I should just put myself in in this case because I do have to write a paper on it for a school so I have to be in depth with it, so I'm like, why not bring my thoughts in, and and my concerns and all that stuff, and and my common sense to my YouTube channel, and I want to see what you guys think about this whole case, and who you think, whose side are you on, like, whose side you on, and why? Um, let me know in the comment section below. I do see that I have gained like ten or 11 subscribers thank you guys so much for joining my channel i greatly appreciate it the numbers constantly going up soon before you know it i'm gonna go ahead and do this giveaway um make sure you stay on the lookout because it is summertime of me doing that that, that giveaway thank you guys for watching